here again and in this video we're going to present to you our equipment everything that goes in the car you can see there's another video on our youtube channel that is presenting all the equipment of the car anything that is completely tied to the car and now we're going to introduce you to that chaos it's going to be simple it's going to be organized we're going to explain you everything um so we try to reduce to the minimal, uh, but we're probably going to refine the amount of things that we're taking with us along the way. Um, so let's start with this. This is a cover for our bonnet bag so that it's like fully waterproof in case of heavy rains. Um, then we have this little shower tent. Uh, I mean, you've seen the video of the equipment of the car, our shower is outside, so this is a way of showering a bit with a bit more privacy. A blanket, a warm blanket, that's easy to understand. Uh, we also take with it two pillows, we try to take them like quite thin so that it doesn't take too much space under the roof. Um, we are taking some camping gear. Uh, because we expect that maybe we want to hike and do some camping in different places so we have a sleeping bag each with like comfort till uh, zero degrees and then two air mattresses that are quite compact and a superb tent uh, from MSR um, that is very very light to carry and that would allow us to you know go further away uh, along the trails then next row um, on this, uh, this package is the Sunwear plug and play foldable solar panel um, that we are going to use to recharge our car battery when needed. Um, we then have our pharmacy. Uh, it's quite big, but it's not all of it. Uh, we try to have in there everything for pain and fever, allergies, open injuries and uh, you know disinfections so you have the essential here and then we have a bit more stuff in another in another one um, this is the document pouch where we're going to store all of our important documents it's also waterproof essential um, security triangle I guess you guys all know that even if you're driving a Fiat Punto in the center of Paris um, two camping chairs it's a bit of luxury, but when you leave for three years in your car, it's essential. Um, here we have some cooking equipment. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to go into the details, but what's interesting is this guy that you probably all know is the jet boil. When you're a bit lazy and you don't want to take out the full cool man, like two fire setup, um, then we just take the jet boil out jet bowl out and we do some quick pasta or if you want to have your coffee or tea quickly then you take that then uh yeah there's those ones i need to explain also um those two are quite useful to us it's the aerations that we put on the back door windows so we can put them there in the night and it reduces condensation, um, allows for a bit more like air flowing in the car and it's fully secure so it's very very nice. Then um, next door we have some sport equipment. Yeah we want to start sport again along the road because sedentary life is out of the way. Okay so here we have a bit of electronic. Um, this is not electronic, but that goes with our camera. It's a tripod so that we can make nice videos. Um, then we have those radios. We have two and then a third one in the car that is uh, connected with the antenna of the car. Uh, it's quite useful when we're traveling with friends, like to, yeah, to talk to each other on the road. Uh, we have a Garmin satellite phone, the Enrich Mini version. Um, this is going to be very useful also to communicate when there's absolutely no network. And those are some hard drives um, to store some of the videos and pictures we're taking. On this side we have the Steripen Adventure. Uh, so this is to uh, sanitize non-playable water. 
and it was a gift. Um, and we have um, I'm not sure how it's called, but it's basically so you can put the fuel of your jerry can in your gas tank. And anyone who knows the name of this thing, you can comment it so that I learn English. Um, next is my favorite. For me, it's the essential piece of equipment of the car. It's a hammock. Ticket to the moon hammock. Very compact, very comfy. For two people, we both fit in it and we love it. This is a booster, battery booster. So if we're out of energy and the car doesn't start, then this is a battery and can start like to stop the engine on its own. Um, this is to like block the wheels when you want to sleep. Um, DJI, uh, this is, what is it? It's a um, stable, hand stable DJI Osmo, meaning that you can Gimbal, gimbal? A gimbal, yeah. It's a gimbal, yeah. <laughs> DJI gimbal for the phones. Uh, it's quite funny, but we need to learn a bit more how to use it. But it's, it's very, very nice. It works very well. Those are our uh, window blockers. So if we want like full darkness, we can put those on the windows. And here we have the <coughs> Jackery, uh foldable solar panels. Uh, Solar Saga 100, a nice gift from Jackery that goes directly into this bad boy over there. The bad boy, yeah. So this Jackery Explorer 1000 is really our power bank, like backup power bank. You can have energy for several days, we can charge it on sector flights, or using the Solar Saga 100. We have two of them. They're very nice and very compact. Here, camera, our Canon. We've been dragging this thing for several years. We really like it, uh, especially for pictures. The DJI Mavic Air, the drone we're using for the videos. And this is, I don't know, let's check together. Ah, that goes with the Jackery. Don't worry. Um, here we have a lot of everything, um, here we have some spare parts, uh, if you want the full list of the spare parts that we're taking, we're going to upload it on Patreon and Nick has been listing all of it, uh, but we want to highlight that we've received most of them from Euro 4 by 4 parts, and thank you guys because now we're not worried to leave, we have everything in case uh, we have a problem with the car. So you will fall by for parts. They really have a nice online shop and they ship internationally. So if you have an issue, they always have things in stock to send you uh, to repair your car. So that's a good one. Uh, in the equipment here, we have a few things. Um, this is like uh, some pieces of the high lift that you don't store on the outside. So we keep it inside. And here we have a saw, I think you call it a saw in, in English. Uh, so it's foldable for the trees and an axe, uh, same thing. To cut the branches in the way, that's quite useful. Continue, 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 continue. Ah, yeah, foldable bucket. Um, that's for nothing and everything. Like you can literally do everything with this. You can carry stuff, we can do the laundry. Um, we also used to <laughs> use to use it for the shower, we would put our feet in the shower so that we would collect the water and we could use the water for something else, like whatever you need. So that was quite useful. It's foldable, doesn't take too much space and it's very, very solid. Um, Lifesaver, Lifesaver jerkin. So we have a lot of water capacity storage in the car, but this one is really in case we have no more potable water, we can put water here and you have the filter system here so that's very good and you have additional charcoals to um, clean your water um, this is a diagnostic instrument that was gifted to us by uh, a nice defender lover in brussels he works 
at NATO and invited us for a brunch and gifted us this. So thank you so much. It's in our list, it's in our inventory and it's living on travel with us. Thank you for this gift. Um, in this area we have more, yeah, more tools. <sighs> Toolbox. This is how you call it? Mm -hmm. Toolbox. Toolbox. Uh, this is the Krik. So you to lift the car. I think you call it Krik in English. Uh, more tools. Another cooker, like compact, compact cooker uh, from MSR. So it's like it holds bigger pans. So it's ba basically halfway between our Coleman here and our Jade Ball over there. So we really like it as well. And I think we've been around. Mosquito, mosquito repellent. I think everyone needs that anywhere in the world. So. I'm like a mosquito magnet, so maybe I would take this as my favorite item of the inventory. I think that's it. Um, we have maybe a few more things. Um, for example, our clothing. Uh, it's not in there. We will probably show you the space we have in another video. But basically anything that is not here will be in our general inventory that we upload we will upload on patreon uh, and that list will include both the clothing and the pharmacy but also all of the spare parts so we'll put the details you know like brake pads filters we'll put how many of each we're taking um and what exactly we're taking so and electronics also so i think we will really do an inventory with different categories of electronics, pharmacy, clothing, uh, spare parts, recovery, energy and water and all the rest with the brands, the price and all the rest. Thank you so much for listening to this video. If you have any question in terms of uh, what brands we're using, using uh, if we like some, of the, some pieces of equipment more than others, um, yeah, some things we would recommend, then you can post them in comments or write us directly and we will answer them. For more, there is Patreon and I guess we will do a checkup in a year or maybe a bit less to see if we're still using all of this or if we got rid of some of this or if we added new pieces to our inventory because we really need to test all of this on the long term. Thank you!